Hey guys, what's up? This is Steven Anderson, the smartest, at, you know, 12.59 a.m. <laughs> Mountain Standard Time. Um, yeah, this is, this is how we roll, this is what we do, right? You know, you make toys and you have fun and you go to your day job during the day and you spend the evening with your family and you spend all night working on other stuff. Um, that's my printer going in the background, so hopefully it doesn't bother the uh, the recording too much. Um, I wanted to go through and kind of talk a little bit about this sort of stuff. Uh, just simple folds, uh, being able to make simple folds, and and it's not it's not sculpted in; it's actually modeled in. Yeah, if I let me kind of get down to my lower resolutions. You can see I've got got um, all my spans in here. All my geometry is there to kind of support the shape of the fold. So I'm gonna smooth that back out and turn off my polyframe. You can see it's got it's got kind of a good suggestion of of folds. I need to go through and redo this one because it's not quite as as clean as I'd like. But I'd like to go through and show you another one that I'm just starting, kind of show you a little bit of a process on how I would get those folds. So you can see I'm starting to get folds here on pants for this guy, okay? So really simple, but I want to make sure that that's a nice, clean graphic read, okay? Now, you can go through and try to get this nice and nice and clean point by point but uh it's not the best way and you can go through and you can try to you know use your mask lasso and you can just kind of you know mask out areas and hope that you can get the right areas and but it's 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 messy and it's a little tricky it's not as quick okay so here's a quick little trick okay so we're just going to go into my z modeler brush okay i'm going to go into my my edge settings sorry hover over an edge edge settings uh, hold my space bar to be able to pull this up i have this transpose option selected and i have edge loop complete by default it's set to edge i, I set it to edge loop complete um and then you know, typically like in, when you first open up the options it's set to insert rather than rather than transpose. So I just want to go to transpose, edge loop complete. And what this does is this gives me the option to select an edge and it masks out that edge loop completely. Okay, the whole ring. And this is very, very helpful to be able to get a very quick selection. So now here's something else I can do. I can come over here, maybe select this portion. I'm going to go over, let's go into my move brush. And then I'm going to say, okay, kind of pull this out a little bit, adjust these points, move them around. And I don't have to worry about these points at all. They're not going to affect their neighbors. Uh, I can soften the mask if I want to, and then I can, so I can affect the neighbors. Um, but this is a very clean and quick and efficient way to be able to quickly make selections anyway once i once i go through and get this these folds to work you know if i hit d to be able to see the the smooth preview you see it gets a little blobby um, i want to be able to keep those folds a little bit more uh, more stylized sharper sharper cleaner edges so let's kind of bump out of that <clears throat> what i'm going to do let's go back into my z modeler and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go my edge actions and let's say crease. Uh, yeah, we'll say edge. We'll just, we'll just keep it at edge. Okay, I'm going to turn on my polyframe by hitting shift F. And I'm just going to come along here and I'm just going to pop on all these uh, edges to a certain point. I don't want all of them, but I do want most of them. Well, not most of them. I want I want most of the ones going. Shoot. Uh, most of the ones going around that uh, specific crease until it starts to level out and be flat. You know, 
Okay, just come along here, something like this. Let's maybe put these in. Getting close here. I promise. I promise it's not that long of a <laughs> process. Okay, now if if I'm going to leave that down, um then you know it could be good to crease it, but it might be alright to just go ahead and just leave it so that way I get kind of a nice smooth transition into the other areas. So now with smooth preview turned on, you can see the difference that that's making. You know, it's, it's holding those creases much, much better. Let's actually come down here, geometry, um, crease. Okay. The other thing we want to do is, let's go to some dynamic subdivisions. This isn't an option that I've ever really played with at Q grade. <laughs> it's gonna bump that up to three. And you see how it's starting to smooth it out, but it's still keeping some of that graphic shape for us. Okay, which is it's a little bit closer to what we want. Not quite exactly, but you know, that's something that we can that we can shape up a little bit better later on. But that's just kind of kind of a little bit of that quick process. You know? Okay, so just to repeat it one more time, go into let's actually turn off the dynamic subdivision. Um if I wanted to be able to go ahead and pull out another little bit of let's say maybe right around here or something. Okay, so I'm gonna hover over my edge. Hold spacebar and let's go into transpose, edge loop complete, okay. And then I want to try to decide. Let's let's do this edge right here. Okay, now we're gonna go into my move brush. Okay, and then you just kind of go through. I'm just I'm just holding alt to be able to kind of pull these out along the normal. It's a very, very useful trick. Uh, my buddy Hugh McCollum taught me that. Uh, Used to work with him back in 2014, <laughs> doing fine arts and and uh, and uh, rapid prototyping for fine art 3D printing. That was fun. <laughs> Very different world. <laughs> Very different world. And maybe I'll come over here. Let's do this. Let's get the get the move brush back out. Let's kind of change my view a little bit so that it's easier to, to tell exactly what's going on. Alright. And then I'd want to go through and I would want to uh play with the creasing in there and whatnot to make it work the same way, but it's working pretty well so far, so <sighs> gotta go through and take that to finish. So hopefully that's uh, kind of a helpful trick to to you. You know, build out the the main creases in in uh, in the topology. That way you can just kind of move those uh, those edges out in the general form and that will help to build your overall form. So anyway, if you have any questions related to that process or to anything else that may be related or semi-related or completely non sequitur, <laughs> feel free to drop me a line. Uh, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you'd like. Hope to hear you uh, hear from you soon. Take care. Have fun zebrushing. <laughs>